Back here again, this is RJ with Bike Loud PDX. And I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to add crossings to streets in OpenStreetMap. Uh, this is a, a really important, um, but I think undervalued part of uh, any type of bicycle planning is uh, identifying where you can cross busy streets. Uh, in a very safe way. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We're, we're looking at um, East Portland uh, at the openstreetmap.org website uh, cycle map. Um, in order to get at that, just click on the layers button on the right hand side there. And if we zoom in to East Portland, uh, East Portland is known for having some of the uh, deadliest streets uh, in Portland uh, because they have a much a wider set of streets um, that are also very fast moving. Say you're trying to identify a, a route to take uh, north south, and you're trying to identify, you know, where where can I safely cross? Well, the open cycle map, which is available here, uh, allows you to actually see if you zoom in a little bit. The yellow dots here are actual uh, marked crossings. Uh, and so these are either uh, signalized crossings, like this one looks like it might be signalized because it's had a major arterial and uh, or major street and another set of major streets. Um, these look like unmarked crossings. Um, East Burnside, by the way, is also where our max line goes. So this probably becomes even more important because it's not necessarily even possible to uh, cross the uh, max tracks. Um, very safely. So it would be uh, really, really beneficial for anyone to be able to look at a map and say, oh, where can I, where can I safely cross instead of having to guess? And so let's go ahead and take a look at how to add some of these marked crossings. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, the Dales, Oregon. Uh, we ended up using that as an example last time because they were missing quite a few uh, bike facilities and so uh, and you can even see uh, they're still they're still on their way to showing up okay so here we are back in the Dales and we're gonna look at specifically their their downtown and so in this particular case you can see there are marked crosswalks that have not been added to the open street map uh, map yet and right now I'm only looking at traffic roads uh, on the right hand side if you click on uh, the map data tab um, you can go ahead and turn on and off different map features I've only kept on traffic roads since uh, that's that's most of what we're, we're trying to look at right now and so in order to add a marked crossing what you'll do is find the point on a street where the marked crossing occurs and double click in order to create a new node. And so that, that would also be described as you're creating a node on a way. And once you've created that node, you can click on that node and assign it some properties. And so this uh, is just a, a handful of the different types of uh, features that you can assign this node to. But in our case, we are going to uh, go for a marked uh, crosswalk. And so there are a couple different options here and uh, we can go over uh, more of those later. So we'll click on that. In this case, because there aren't any traffic signals, we are just going to mark it as a, a marked crosswalk. And let's go ahead and look at the uh, information documentation. For the most part, we're going to stick with marked or crossing traffic signals. So what's the difference? Well, in the case of marked, um, we're typically talking about a uh, marked crossing using paint. Um, as a, that's a pretty good example right there. And in the case of traffic signals, we're talking about a marked crossing that also has some form of traffic control. Uh, attached to it as well. So a, a walk signal, 
uh, as well as also some signal signalization for the vehicles as well. So in this particular example, I don't see any traffic signals. Typically you can see the shadows uh, from the aerial imagery. Um, so we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, and I wanna go ahead and add a marked crossing multiple times. So I'm just gonna double click on each of these sides. So that way it's clear that all of those sides are marked crossings. Great. And we'll go ahead and save that. I've just put in a quick comment and made sure that the source imagery is, or the source is aerial imagery. And we'll go ahead and mark it as someone can review my edits. Now, another example might be that you're um, adding crosswalks that are at a specific traffic light. Uh, so let's look at an example like that. So here's an example of we've got a, a traffic signal here and we want to go ahead and add some marked crossings. And so in this case, we will still go ahead and assign it as the marked uh, crosswalk. And then in the type here, we'll just simply uh, select the uh, traffic signal type. Changing to traffic signal here will cause the walking symbol to disappear, but that's okay. It will still appear as a yellow dot in the open cycleway map, as well as also uh, be available for both pedestrian and, and also bicycle navigation uh, in, say, uh, your Android or iOS uh, mobile app. So let's go ahead and add a few more of those here. And once again, just double click on the way, click on marked crosswalk, change it to traffic signal, and you're on your way. So we'll just do that two more times. Great. Well, thanks so much for watching and uh, happy mapping. Take care.